Hello YouTube, this is Gokster. For five days I nearly fucking died. And that's that's quite hard for someone who planned actually to die fucking, but yeah. I had a very very bad flu, pneumonia and everything what you even can imagine. Took a lot of medication, nothing helps really. Until yesterday I had a really great idea to take a medication who works for my grandfather and for his grandfather and his grandfather and his grandfather for generation and nobody can tell me anymore that the Holy Spirit does not work. Today I'm fine. Let's go on. I'm really really happy to see that we go now a step further and there are more people now moving um, uh, moving on uh, for, for human rights. Uh, I was a little pissed uh, with some people <coughs> and I really want to explain it uh, why it was the case. So, uh, lately we were uh, quite active. I, I, say we, some some of uh, my fellow YouTubians, uh, of my friends, of my uh, subscriptions and so on, uh, were really active uh, in gay rights. So I was angry when I saw some gay people uh, only say, oh no, they are shooting on us, we are so much exposed. And yeah, I only imagine this, this, these people standing there like, like our generals. We are fighting for them and they are losing, uh, losing confidence. They, they don't want to fight anymore. We are behind them to, to, to push them, to, to, to help them. But if the general or the, yeah, the generals and all the, the people who are really concerned don't want to, to fight anymore with us, so I think then the fight is, is absolutely useless. And when you are in a minority, when you are gay and you are exposed on YouTube, don't even think that uh, the critics are only sitting there and, and throwing uh, cotton balls to the screen uh, to hurt you. No, they gonna employ uh, hate speech, they got to employ uh, uh, ugly words and, and stupid arguments, that's, that's how these, these people are made. But if our generals, uh, who, who s should stand there to motivate all the others to fall, then when, when, when they are falling, uh, it's like losing the, f the flag and the whole army is split away and, and the, the fight is, is lost. So it, it should not come uh, that far. So that was uh, a little anger. I even made uh, a short video and I posted only to two people uh, who I, 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 I think were concerned with it. I took it down, the message was received, I didn't receive any uh, complaints about it and uh, nobody was angry about it. I think that this point uh, has, uh, was important to make this point. But now, human rights. Human rights, it's not only limited to, to, to one minority. Uh, human rights, it's an issue wherever you look. And for us Europeans, it's under our nose and we don't even see it. Uh, I agree with Soreta Yuki, uh, guy, that it was really good, but when, when you are British, I'm, my impression, when you are British, when you are on this far west island, you are as near mentally as near to America than to Europe. Uh, I'm from West Europe, living now in East Europe, and I see other issues about human rights. Um, I want to speak about the gypsies. So, I don't want to speak very much about it. <clears throat> they are all around here. I try to to speak with some of them, I try to, to, to find someone who speaks English and uh, who can explain me how they live and how is the conception and uh, how they are treated because I know they are not treated right. I give you an example uh, how it concerns myself. 
I'm coming from Luxembourg and since two years I'm living in Bulgaria. So to switch my driving license from Luxembourg to the Bulgarian driving license, which is a European law, you should have a driving license of the country where you're living, because when you lose it or so, it's easier to get it back. So I have now here in Bulgaria to prove that I made eight years of school to have a Bulgarian driving license. I can drive here with my Luxembourgish one, but they want me to give them my school diploma to prove that I have at least eight years of school uh, to receive the Bulgarian driving license. And this Bulgarian law has been made to force the gypsies to go to school. They need cars, they love cars, they love driving, uh, they are uh, somehow good in, in, uh, in, in business, in commerce, and uh, they need a car for that. And to push them really to go to school, the Bulgarian law says you must have had eight years of school before you can get your driving license. I call this discrimination. So, that's what I see every day, that's Bulgaria, but uh, quite often I'm also in Romania, I'm with my biker club, uh, we make many tours to, to Romania or to Moldavia, <coughs> which is quite interesting uh, also to see uh, this different culture. Um, but I really was shocked the last time I have been in Romania is to read some panels on restaurant that the restaurant is not allowed to gypsies. So it's it's like uh, in, in my head it, it's like seeing uh, the apartheid uh, politics of South Africa. Uh, there is a spring for white people, there is a spring for black people, and here is a restaurant who is not allowed for, for gypsies. This discrimination goes on in Europe, but not in Europe as such, in the European uh, uh, Commission, in the European um, community. In, I, I call the European community our, our country, our land, and, and the different countries are only provinces uh, from, from this big Europe. And that happened under our nose. You know also that uh, uh, several months ago, uh, friends um, uh, disported some, uh, some gypsies to, to Romania uh, in, in very, very bad condition. They were absolutely chased from, from French in uh, really human Undine uh, conditions uh, by uh, Sarkozy. So, when we have to get in the point of human rights, I think that in any of our communities, when we look around, we have also there where we live uh, something to do to defend human rights. I can think that maybe I. I really don't know what I'm speaking about now, but I imagine uh, that um, 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 Native Americans, how you call it, the Indians, native, uh, born Native Americans, I don't know, do they really have the same rights than uh, the white American? The Maori in uh, New Zealand, do they have the same right than the whites in New Zealand, Australia, the Aborigines, do they have all the rights you have as white in Australia? So I think that in any of our communities we can find a direct example where we are not in an achievement of a 100% human right. And, well, let it go, let go it on, let go it on. I hope today, if not today, tomorrow, I can get out with my camera and uh, mix myself under uh, this gypsy people who is not far from my house here. Try to find someone 
to speak with. I don't want to say to interview him because I want really to sit down with him uh, with the beer and, uh, and even uh, leave the camera for, for 10 minutes that he forgets there is a camera and speaking eye to eye uh, to someone and, and really uh, not only listen uh, the, the, the voice what he has to, to tell me but also to uh, to listen when, when the heart begins to speak. So that's what I have to say for today. I wish you all a very, very nice day. Get off of your fucking flu and everything, and you know, best medication is house medication. Bye-bye. Uh, can you please tell your friends that I'm terribly undersubscribed?